Hello everyone, myself Nilay Parekh. In today's lecture, we will discuss the structure of flowchart or you can say the types of flowchart. Basically flowchart is step by step problem solving method with the help of different shapes or symbol. We saw different shapes like terminal, input output symbol, process, decision making symbol and flow line. So, if I want to draw flowchart, there are three subtypes. The first one is sequence, the second one is selection, and the third one is repetition. Sequence, selection, and repetition. First, we will understand what is sequence flowchart. Sequence flowchart means the symbols will come in a step by step manner. It will go from top to bottom or left to right manner. This is the simplest form or simplest type of flowchart structure. For example, I want to find area of circle. So the flowchart of this uh, question will be like this. First, start. This start will come in terminal, then flow line, then input radius. It will come in input output symbol, then flow line, then the equation to find area of circle is a equals to 3.14 into r into r it will come in process then flow line the output will be stored in a so output a or display a in input output symbol then flow line and at the end stop so this is top to bottom step by step in a simplest form this is called sequence flow chart second selection flowchart now when uh, you have a some condition or you have to select some particular uh, taste condition then this selection flowchart will come in the particular manner it is also called decision structure for example uh, i want to find whether the uh, one number is maximum or not from two number so the flowchart of this Equation will like this first start, then flow line, then input A and B, A and B our number, or you can uh, take number one, number two, then decision making symbol if or is A greater than B question mark. There will be a single input, two output. The question is A greater than B. If it is true, then we will store the value of A into some variable M. With the help of equals to and if it is false we will store m equals to b means the value of b into m true this side false this side yes no and at the end we will join with the last statement that is stop so what will happen the both output come in the uh, particular symbol but it will rejoin again and only one statement will uh, is going to be executed uh, this is our selection structure and the last uh, type of structure is repetition structure when in your uh, particular problem some several steps is uh, uh, come again and again or it is a repeating step so this type of flowchart is going to become in particular manner for example we need to find the sum of 1 to 10 so we will draw this flowchart like this first start then flow line then we will take i as our initial variable and the value of initial variable is going to be 1 because we have to find the sum of 1 to 10 so our starting point is 1 and our ending point is 10 so i equals to 1 and the sum of this uh, value is going to store into the variable called sum so we are initializing sum equals to 0 then condition if i less than equals to 10 yes then sum equals to sum plus i and then we will uh, increment i by 1 i equals to i plus 1 and again we are going to check whether the i's value less than equals to 10 or not so it will continue till i will become more than 10 when i will become 11 the condition is going to be false or no then we will display the sum the total sum of 1 to 10 and at the end we will go for a stop so this is the 
structure of flow chart sequence selection and repetition according to this today's topic i prepared a small quiz regarding this particular topic do attempt it the link of this topic or exam is given in description or caption if you have any query please mention it in a comment so we are signing off for today thank you